Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and as the title suggests, this is the Thrifty Nifty Yarn Haul. Unboxing Yarn Haul, whatever you wanna call it. And um, I know it's not like I need much in the way of yarn, but we went out today. Um, we had to go see a few things to measure up for new kitchen units and other bits and bobs. And while we were out, Gary said, why don't you pop in to Pound Stretcher and see if they've got any any yarn? And I thought, nah, they didn't have any last time. There's no point going. Well, two of these later, and there was more I could have got. So what did I get? <sighs> I'll show you. But in the meantime, if you haven't already, don't know, I think I might have knocked it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when there are new videos and hopefully live streams. Not always, uh, I know not everybody gets notifications, but um, hopefully they'll fix that. So they had lots of new stuff in there. And just in case I need it, I get my, pen, my handy specs. And this one I'd not seen before. And I thought, hmm quite interesting so I, I kind of just got it to to see what it was like and it's called glitz and glam glitz and glam dk double knitting which is a three weight but it's a nice big ball and it's this really nice kind of dark but not dark blue if you know what i mean mid blue i guess you'd say now what does it say it's a 200 gram ball not seen this before color is just called blue I don't normally go for ones where the the Lurex thread that runs through it is silver. They had it in a burgundy. They also had it in a pink, but I didn't like the silver thread on that. But because this is blue, silver and blue often go together really well. So I decided to give this one a try. Now, as a DK, it's quite thick. It's one of the thicker. You know, sometimes you can get a DK yarn that's really thin it's like for instance this one now that dk there when if i hold that taut is way thinner than this dk so sometimes they're almost up to the thickness of a four weight almost but this is quite chunky it's quite a chunky uh, dk so it is machine washable it's 97 percent acrylic and three percent lurex and it is oh do we have any yardage <clears throat> wouldn't that be wonderful if you did put the yardage on there for me they've got some diagrams but no no yardage at all that doesn't make any sense they go to the point of putting um not a key what's it called a diagram a gauge for the um tension but then they don't put in any yardage which i don't understand so i'm putting in my specs just on my specs just to see if i've missed it anywhere but no i don't no haven't it cracks me up when they don't do it really so yeah it's um color is blue and it's 200 grams it feels nice it's not um it's not rough you'd have it on your skin you'd wear it as a scarf so I figured I'd get that to try. They only had one of the blue, unfortunately. So I didn't get any of the other colours because I weren't really, weren't really keen. Now, you know, recently I bought some, um, that blue, lovely blue yarn, like this stuff. And I bought, I bought this lately, which is stormy, that I was absolutely enthralled by. And I will make something with this stormy. So when I picked this up it reminded me so much of the stormy it's so soft and willowy that it's falling apart on the ball and this is yarn fair deluxe chunky with bamboo really really soft absolutely gorgeous it's really lovely it's got 20 percent bamboo and it's one pound 50 per ball 149 to be exact but um i really like this and I, they only had two in this color but i i kind of had to get it it just called my name so let's have a look and see if we've got any info 
would be um be good if they put something on here at least so um where are we it is wash machine washable and no yardage 100 <laughs> percent in accordance with british standards i'd just like to see and um there's not even um there's not even anything telling me the color on this one how strange i keep thinking maybe i've missed it but no it's 80% anti-pilling acrylic and 20% bamboo. So it's even anti-pilling for £1.49 for Deluxe Chunky. It is really, really soft. It's lovely stuff. So um, if I see any more of that, I will definitely, definitely get that. Now, as you know, many of you who are regular to my channel, I've actually had a bit of trouble getting hold of some black and white variegated yarn. Um, I was asked to make a poncho for someone and I even had a whole hobby order just purely to get some of this Malaga yarn, which is very similar to this um, yarn in the black and white. And it was in stock and I ordered it and then all of a sudden they tell me that it wasn't in stock. So that was really, really annoying. So I managed to get this so um color blend yarn i've had this range before it's not bad at all i've used it lots of times i'm not going to undo the packaging because i want to keep it in this plastic and again it's machine washable 100 percent acrylic these are 150 gram balls sorry for looking down but at least they have a shade which is 2894 and very very good value as well where's the price nope they usually have it stamped on them but i've got a feeling it was like 199 or thereabouts but i got three of those they only had three in the black white and gray and i just think that should be enough she's not a big woman so that should be enough to do that if i feel the need to make it and I would, looking at this, I've had this yarn before, and in fact, in um, the charity bag that I've got, some of this yarn, and I've got a feeling that I believe that this is meant to be a DK, but it's so chubby that it's almost really um, a four weight. Um, I've used it before, and it's, it comes up quite, quite hefty for a DK. It doesn't say on it what it is and that's one of the drawbacks to it so then i decided to give this a go i've not bought this from them before i have seen it a few times but i didn't like the colors but this one's really pretty and it's called super soft knitting yarn and it's called melody and look at that it's kind of fluffy can i undo this one yes okay be able to put this one back the other one doesn't undo but this is the the kind of fluffy i don't wow well, what would you call it what kind of yarn is that i have no idea 150 gram ball and it is machine is it no not machine washable this one so it'd have to be washed by hand um 100 percent polyester and it's baby soft knitting yarn no number just a PLU number. Um, oh, no colourway, which is weird. So again, these were really cheap, something like two ninety nine for a ball. Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably come across a a bill soon that will have it all on. But I managed to get three of those. They did have pinks and they had blues, but they weren't so nice. But I liked the pink with this lilac. Really nice. Um, I can't believe that they haven't given me a colour. Just, no. Unless it's just this number here, ACE502. But it doesn't say. But, um, you know, really nice. Super soft, lovely, ideal for a blanket. And then, remember a little while ago, I bought quite a lot of that pink and cream coloured yarn. Well, they had some different colours. Um, they had this one, which I thought, wow, 
I have to have some of this. And it's um, 69 pence per skein. It's the Yarn Fair Tootsie, which is, um, I've been using it a lot recently in the very pale pink. I've been making um, a baby mile a minute with it. And it, it does work up really, really well. It's very nice to work with. I've been very impressed with this stuff. So let me just read a little bit of this band. Hopefully it's got a bit more information on than the others. So this is called Baby Fuchsia, the colour. And these are 50 gram balls. They are a DK. And again, it's got the gauge for tension, but no yardage. 100% acrylic and it is machine washable. Now, I've had this one before where they've had the um, premium acrylic and this is so soft. It, when you first pick it up, you think it's going to be a premium acrylic. Now I've got another couple. Oh, I've got some more of this colour. I decided to get a few of them so I'd have enough to make something with. No bill in there. And then they had white. And although I do have rather a lot of white, when I'm making something, I do like, if I can, to keep the same yarn, you know, rather than mix match different brands. I like to try, if I can, just to keep the, the same yarn. So this is just called Baby White. And I don't think it's got a number. Again, it's the Yarn Fair Tootsie Baby DK Machine Washable. And I did get a fair few whites. I like having this countertop because it means that when I buy stuff and I'm doing a yarn haul, I can just put it on there. So yeah, I did get a few white ones because you can never really have enough white. And if I was going to make something, they did have a bit more. So if I needed to go back, I could always, always get white. So anyway, I'm running out of space and so move it over there. And there's probably some more white. I did get some more of the light pink that I have been using. It's very pale, but you can see it's a lovely colour, actually. It's really pretty, pretty pink. And sometimes if you hold it further away, you get a better representation. But it's a really lovely pink and so soft, so nice to use. I did get a few more of those, but not very many. And then I spotted this colour and I absolutely love it this lemon so many times i get a yellow or a lemon and i don't actually like it but this is beautiful beautiful color and it's vibrant and it's so soft it's again the tootsie range and it's lovely to work with i can't really sing its praises enough and amazing for 69p per skein really really amazing so this is just called pale yellow and there's dye lots, but that's all. Wish I could give you a yardage, but they are quite generous in their, you know, that sometimes when you get a ball from say Poundland or somewhere like that, it doesn't feel substantial, but I think these are quite generous. So I did rather a lot of the lemon, so I kind of liked it. And rather a lot of that. And then I've got another pink one in here as well, but I do already have some of the pink. So I didn't get lots of pink, but I did get quite a bit of this yellow. I better get busy with making the baby items. So stack it and pile it high. Here's my bill. There we go. And I, this is my last items in here. They only had two of these, otherwise I might have got more. <clears throat> but I've not used this before. And again, I can open this one and get it back in. So that's good. And it's called, oh, so soft. It's not called that. It's called Pretty Baby Chunky Knitting and 100 gram ball. But it is absolutely lovely. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I like this twist. I really like that. And then it's got kind of white areas self striping. I love this. Shame they only had two, but they did have other colours. But I didn't really want to get any other colours. Again, this is machine washable and it's 100% acrylic. And it's probably called something like pink. No, it's just 8188 shade. But beautiful. Really, really love this. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that one. But um, So let's have a look. See if we can see the prices on my 
So the whole lot, the whole, the whole lot only came to forty-five pounds. Can you believe it? Really crazy. So no, all it's got is yarn. I'd have to match the numbers up. But the most expensive yarn that I have bought is um, two ninety-nine. So that's just that's just amazing, isn't it? Which I believe would have been maybe one of. Let's have a look. What number's that? What number do we need? Probably the product number. Let's see. The PLU number. 269. No, it doesn't go by that number. Of course it does. 502. So these ones, they were £1.99. £1.99. That's amazing. So, and this one, which, what's the PLU number of this? Two six two five six one two six two five six one two ninety nine. So that's the most expensive of the lot. But isn't it gorgeous? I'm gonna have fun making something with that. Look at that, all snuggly. It's just so pretty. So this one then, well, I couldn't find the price of before. Let's find the number. Two seven two nine five two. That was two ninety nine, yeah, two ninety nine. But they're not small balls; they're one hundred and fifty gram balls. So that's not bad, not bad at all. <clears throat> Still losing my voice a little bit, but there's lots of new ones that I've not tried before. I'm going to have a good time trying. I, I'm going to really see if I can get some more of this one though. I absolutely loved it. Not really keen on the other colours, unless I've got something that I want to make for them. But I really loved this. I know it's falling out of the ball a little bit, but wow, I just love this stuff. It's so soft. It'd be nice for gloves or a scarf or something. But I thought, <laughs> sock myself in the face with it. I really want to try this one. At least I've got the price on there, so I didn't have to look it up. But yeah, this is unusual, and I, I just want, don't know what to make with it, but I'll figure something out. Definitely figure something out it might not be a wearable it might be something completely different because it's got sturdiness to it you know <clears throat> you know when you you pick up something and you think I could make something sturdy with this you know like a basket or not that I will but you know you know you you know that it's got a little bit of body to it it's it's still soft it's not rough if I had that next to my skin I wouldn't be crying about it but um glitz and glam cool so hope you like it i obviously now need to find somewhere to put it i have no idea where that's going to be i've had this little idea that gary can make me another shelf in here i haven't told him yet but if you look this area here if i can just get it up there where this i've got my calendar dangling if he just to sort of go along there with a piece of this I can have another shelf and um yeah so sorry about the hand I haven't shown him a little bit wonky now I haven't shown him my plan <laughs> so I'm probably like what am I going to use for that <laughs> I thought it was finished in here apart from putting the um heater back in he is but I just figured that would give me another shelf and it's not like I can use this space for anything it's not I haven't got anything that tall to put there under here I usually put my computer you know my laptop or something or um a basket with my whips in but oh goodness I'm gonna have to show you this look how much mess I have made look at that I had such a lovely tidy yarn room not anymore I've just got to find homes for it I have got a few little cubbies that I can still use so no problemo and I'm gonna to have to use it aren't I like I love this I am just so excited about a lemon cut <laughs> honestly every yellow I've bought lately has not really been it's been like wish wishy-washy or completely washed out or just too kind of kind of dark if you know what I mean it's just not baby lemon but this I absolutely love it and the yeah the pink as well 
beautiful and the baby fuchsia you never know might find its way into my new blanket i don't know we'll have to see but i'm really happy with all that i i nearly didn't go in there and this i just really love it and i, I can't believe i almost missed out on all this squishiness so thank you for watching and uh stay safe take care i'll see you soon and um watch out got a challenge going it's called what to put it grannies for gramps challenge and uh do what do check it out i'm going to put a link to all my videos in the um end boxes of my videos if that makes any sense to you at all you know when you get the little end screens pop up i shall link some on there and if you haven't already don't forget to check out my giveaway for my 5k thanks for watching stay safe everyone take care bye for now